A landslide has blocked access to Deadman Creek Road near Kettle Falls for months now. Several slides have given way since then, a shifting things from back in March. The latest slide stopped just feet from destroying a home, and residents say they are sick of taking a detour through a primitive, primitive back road. KXY42 Reeves traveled to Deadman Creek today to get some answers about why the cleanup is taking so long. In a county plagued by landslides and washouts, crews say this is one of the worst they've seen. It stopped just feet away from a home near Kettle Falls. Now crews are racing against the clock, trying to get this cleaned as quickly as they can. There's all kinds of stuff buried in there. For a week now, Matthew Chua has been trying to figure out what he's going to do with his backyard. It did a lot of damage. We lost a lot of fruit trees and all the years of the gardening that we did over there is... is it's different, but, you know, got to deal with it. Much of his property is buried somewhere under this pile of mud and debris. While crews are clearing the road, how his property will get cleared remains a mystery. They pretty much is leaving it up to us, I guess. I hope not. You know, it, it's taking them a lot of work. This is their second day, and it doesn't look like they did anything. And most of the landslide is on our property. But in Ferry County, a lot of questions have gone unanswered. A lot of uh, conjecture, rumors, and uh, the only information anybody could get would be off Facebook, and that wasn't really accurate. This landslide happened nearly three months ago, but cleanup is just now underway. The county says that's because since the whole thing began, it hasn't been safe for workers to access Dead Man Creek Road. When uh this started happening. We fought it for a long time and it just kept getting more dangerous for the crews. And so safety was the number one issue. We pulled our guys off of here because of safety reasons. Since then, people in the area have had to take this primitive road, part of which travels through the Colville National Forest. Horrible. It's horrible and people have, their vehicles have fallen apart basically. You know, I got a pickup truck, three quarter ton, it's real heavy duty suspension and just beats it to death. At three, at five to ten mile an hour. The work is expected to wrap next week, but those who live in the area fear that won't be the end. I pretty much guarantee there's going to be another one if they don't handle that high face, especially if it rains. In Kettle Falls, Drew Reeves, KXOY 4 News. Wow. Thank you, Drew.